Hello and welcome to another video from Ultramax Coatings. In today's videos we'll be explaining what paint thinners are, the difference between thinners for cleaning and thinners for spray application, what happens if you don't use thinners or you use too much and we will explain what thinners do and what they're used for. All paint thinners are not made equal. Some are designed for cleaning brushes, guns, equipment, whereas others are used with oil-based or solvent-based paints, stains and varnishes to provide a superior finish. The key to achieving a top-notch paint job is understanding which type of thinner to use for which situation. So, what are paint thinners? The term paint thinner refers to a generic group of solvents and solvent blends that can dissolve oil-based or solvent-based coatings and reduce their viscosity. The most commonly used chemical in thinners include acetone, dimethylformamide, otherwise known as DMF, glycol ethers, methyl ethyl ketone or MEK, mineral spirits, what we know as white spirit, naphtha, toluene, turpentine, and finally, xylene. The difference between thinners for cleaning and thinners for spray application is that thinners that contain a high volume of particles and recycled solvent content are only suitable for cleaning. The debris will clog your spray gun and contaminate your finish if you try to use these lower quality thinners with paint. We would never recommend using gun wash or standard thinners in paint. These products are recycled solvent and have varying quantities of water in the solution. When putting this in paint it will likely cause major problems problems including not drying, blooming, going matte or flaking off the substrate. Check out our other videos above on paint issues. So what would happen if you didn't use paint thinner? Thinner is used to allow the paint to atomize through the spray gun correctly and give a fine finish. If you're using a high pressure airless paint system then you may not require thinner as the pump will force the paint through the nozzle at high pressure. However, if you are using a conventional spray gun without thinner the paint could dry matte, have an orange peel effect or very uneven finish. If you put too much thinner into a paint mix it can cause problems with your finish. Solvent can get trapped in the layers of paint and this causes solvent popping. If you add too much thinner to your paint mix the paint can become too thin and you get runs and sags in the finish. Drying times can also be affected with the paint drying too fast and going matte or too slow and staying soft. If you use the wrong thinners, sometimes you are lucky and it has no adverse effect. However, mostly it will either react straight away in the tin and separate or will do it later when it has been sprayed onto your substrate. The first product we're going to talk about is Rust-Oleum Green Paint Stripper. Rust-Oleum Green is a powerful, quick acting paint stripper that makes light work of removing old layers of paint, varnish or glue. It doesn't contain methylene chloride and can be used at low temperatures, making it safe to use in more vulnerable environments and in the home. Rust-Oleum Green will remove all types of oil and alkyd-based paints, emulsion, varnish and most two-component products from metal, mineral and wooden substrates. It's worth noting that you cannot place paint stripper in paint. Paint stripper is a purpose produced chemical to strip paint off a substrate. If you add paint stripper to paint as a thinning fluid then it will result in the paint simply falling off your project. The second product is the Ultramax Heavy Duty Paint Stripper. This industrial strength paint stripper does what it says on the tin. You would use it to remove any coating including two-pack acrylic and polyurethane. You must take great care when using this product as it's very caustic and can damage the skin. The third product is White Spirit. This is a general brush cleaning and clearing up paint spills thinner. White Spirit cuts through oil and oil based paints with ease. The next product is Panel Wipe Degreaser. This is mainly used for surface preparation prior to painting. The panel wipe degreaser is designed to remove dirt and particles from the surface in preparation for painting without leaving solvent on the substrate. This product evaporates quickly to leave a streak free clean surface. The fifth thinner is methyl ethyl ketone, otherwise known as MEK. MEK is a strong slow drying thinner for epoxies, adhesives and polyester resins used in fiberglass repairs. It's also ideally suited to removing these materials from cement, tools and other surfaces. MEK is highly volatile, flammable solvent that evaporates very quickly. Always use and store this product as specified on the manufacturer's product data sheet. The next thinner is the acetone thinner. This aggressive solvent is ideal for cleaning. It is highly effective 
and a remover of epoxy resins, ink, adhesives and lacquers. It also thins and cleans fiberglass resins. Acetone evaporates quickly and leaves no residue. Acetone can also be used to clean up dried latex paint, uncured lacquers and adhesives. Number seven is cellulose thinners. Standard cellulose thinners are an excellent brush cleaner and gun wash thinner. It can also be used as a thinner for single pack primers, but isn't pure enough to be used with top coats. The next thinner is Sailac thinners. These are thinners for Sailac wood finishers. They've been developed specifically for thinning Sailac two pack paint polyurethane products and come in different speeds of drying. The DT1150 is the fast thinners for most of the year and the DT1146 is the slow thinners for summer or for high gloss paints. They are not suitable for use on metal surfaces. The eighth thinner is the Jotun thinner number seven. Number seven can be used as a cleaner for pumps and tools before and after painting and is designed to improve the flow of a range of Jotun coatings including Conceal TU and Pilot. It is always advisable to use the same brand paint system as the thinners, primers and top coats are formulated to withstand and work with each other. Next up we have the high gloss thinner. This is a thinner for single pack paints. This high gloss thinner will achieve a premium glossy finish with most single pack systems including Alkyd and acrylic. Number 10 is Xylene. Xylene is an excellent all rounder and top selling Ultramax product. It contains very little recycled product making it a suitable thinner for inks, varnishes, single pack paints that can all be top coat finishers. Xylene can also be used as a cleaner or degreaser. Use Xylene thinners with Ultramax 1, Ultramax Gloss, Ultra Thane, Ultra Prime and Ultramax SGX from the Ultramax range. The next thinner is Etch Thinners. Etch Thinners is a specialist product for thinning etch primers which are used to coat surfaces such as galvanized metal and aluminium that require an etch. This is not recommended for thinning top coats. On to 2K Thinners. This is a universal thinner for most 2K acrylic and polyurethane paint systems. The last product is Electrostatic Thinners. Electrostatic thinners help to get a better wrap round effect on the substrate when using electrostatic spray equipment, but the negative is that it extends the drying time of the paint. Thank you for watching and we hope you found this useful. For more information visit our website ultramaxstore.com or give us a call on 013 02 856 666.